Hi, Romans here and welcome to another music review. I review every album from a viewpoint of a musician as I am a singer, songwriter and a bass player for my own group Yaku Bay. And more than two years ago we released our debut album called Purses in Life. What makes it unique is that it's a heavy prog rock without guitars. Instead you have drums, bass, saxophone and keyboards. You can check out all of our music videos on my YouTube channel. And in the description of all these videos you will find all the information about where is the record available. It's available on all digital platforms like Spotify, Tidal, Deezer, iTunes, Amazon, Bandcamp, but also in this digipack version of a CD with a very beautiful little straight 20 pages long booklet. So in case you want one, all you need to do is contact me by an email, on Facebook, or on Instagram, or you can get one through Bandcamp as well. And today I'm going to review the new album from Lunatic Soul through Shaded Woods. Music review. Music review. If you're watching this review, I guess you know who or what Lunatic Soul is. If not, it's basically a one-man project of Mariusz Duda from Poland, who is also the leader, the frontman, the singer, the bass player, the main songwriter in Riverside one of my all-time favorite bands and one of the best prog bands ever. And um, I'm a huge fan of Mariusz Duda. He's definitely one of the biggest musical idols for me. I made a review of the latest Riverside's album Wasteland in 2018. That was shortly before I started including audio samples in my reviews. I also made a Riverside Worst to Best video, so if you're a fan of Riverside or of Mariusz Duda, be sure to check it out. I think it's a great video, there are a lot of audio samples. And this is actually the second review of something containing Mariusz music this year. A couple months ago he released his debut solo album Lockdown Spaces, which was more of an electronic music. I purchased it through Bandcamp and made a review, so if you're interested in that, you can check it out as well. When it comes to Lunatic Soul, I do have to confess I haven't heard all of the albums so far. Um, I think I've listened to the debut album like 10 years ago and I wasn't a big fan of that, but of course that was 10 years ago and I'm planning on returning to it. Uh, I know the previous three albums from Riverside with Fractured being my favorite. I think it's one of the best works from Mariusz. It's an absolutely stunning album. This is the seventh studio album from Lunatic Soul and based on a post he posted like a couple months ago, I think that the whole Lunatic Soul is envisioned as an eight album project. And uh, well, this is the seventh album, so I guess we can expect one more. With Lunatic Soul, Mariusz sort of uh, explores more softer, experimental side of his music, as opposed to very heavy, at times, Riverside. This new album is supposed to explore more like a folk territory, and uh, well, we're gonna talk about it quite soon. So the album came out a couple days ago, as of now I've heard it seven times. Let's dive right into the review. The album opens up with a track called Navi or Navier, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. And you have immediate folk vibes with that guitar riff slash theme at the beginning. And later there are these spiritual, like very forest-like vocals. It pretty much maintains its vibe and atmosphere, even without traditional folk instruments. So basically what we hear here are like acoustic guitars, electric guitars, basses, some strings, percussions, and it's enough. The second track, The Passage, is one of the longer ones, with being almost eight minutes long. And even from the first notes, you can hear that it has a darker and more serious tone. The just begun I know it. It's almost like a folk 
heavy metal or acoustic Iron Maiden at times with those dual guitars and riffs until it goes completely metal at one point. And we also get those typical Mariushis like breaths. There are again those forest vibes in the title track through shaded woods. He also uses a cool tremolo on his voice, which makes for a pretty interesting effect. We hear some tribal and Celtic influences in Oblivion. There is a really nice melody with vocals that I think remind me of the previous album. Summoning Dance is the second of the longer tracks, with it being almost 10 minutes long, and it starts with a beautiful acoustic guitar and melody that has very nostalgic, innocent feeling. Have an opportunity to believe and to revive. It's really strong melodically. We yet again get into folk metal territory. And the song has a cinematic climax. The final track, The Fountain, is a very intimate ending of the album. I love its minimalistic instrumentation and arrangements and production that kind of goes for the whole album. Basically, we hear mostly acoustic guitar and piano, and it is very somber, very gentle, almost melancholic, and it has a beautiful, beautiful melody. The album is a little short of being 40 minutes long, but there is also a bonus disc on Deluxe version that almost doubles the length of the album. And here we have three tracks. Two of first two tracks, Virai and Hilophobia, are both okay, nothing too special. But it's the almost 28 minutes long Transition 2, which is really worth checking out. Uh, when it comes to this Deluxe Edition, I was focusing mainly on the main album, which I've heard seven times. I've heard the bonus tracks maybe like three times together, so uh, I'm not that familiar with that. Transition 2 is really fantastic track. It's almost like a mini epic, like it has story of its own, and it's almost a shame that it isn't a part of the main disc. And I think that towards the end there was a part that melodically reminded me, I think, of the previous album. Once again, I haven't analyzed it that much because I was focusing on the main disc, but be sure to check out the deluxe version. To sum up, I really like this album and this album seems to be like a perfect soundtrack for current situation where basically the only place where you can go to and where you can like regain sanity is the forest. And even Mariusz, well, when you look at the album cover and even he sort of uh, presented this album being in a forest and he was trying to capture that feeling. And he really did. It's a beautiful album that has a lot of interesting moments. I'm not gonna say that if you like the other Lunatic Souls albums, you're gonna like this one, because you can take three Lunatic Souls albums and they're all gonna be quite different from each other. But I think that he just succeeded in delivering another really very beautiful piece of music. So be sure to check that out. 
If you like this video and if you like the videos I'm making, consider supporting me by purchasing my debut album Pursuits in Life because I include audio samples and thus I make my reviews the most informative and entertaining to watch. I usually run a risk of getting a copyright claim, meaning that I won't earn any money of these videos and they take a lot of time to make. So any money I can actually earn goes to the artist. I have no problem with that. But the best way how you can support me and the only way is by buying my debut album. And if you like Lunatic Soul and especially if you like Riverside, I think you're gonna really dig the record. Have you heard this album already? You can let me know in the comment section below whether you agreed or disagreed with me. If you are a Lunatic Soul fan, you can let me know how well do you think it compares to their previous albums or which one is your favorite one. You can follow me on Facebook or on Instagram. You can find links to both in the description of this video below. Also, if you like this review, don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe. Check out my own original music, my live performances, my worst to best video series, including Riverside as well, and a lot of other reviews. Thanks a lot for watching.